Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, you know I come back with that second video just to make you think. Now, of course, guys, I always talk about how the C word drove the changes that we're moving over to the digital economy. But what we have to do is always go back and see the plan, see the wheel turning towards the actual digital economy and how it all started. Because remember, like I stated, the New World Order works off a plan. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the CEOs. Now, guys, from 2018 to the, I would say, beginning of 2020, we had about 1,300 CEOs step down. And the fact is, a lot of them that got replaced as foreigners, but I'm not getting on that subject. But the fact is, it was over 1,300 CEOs stepped down. So that means that they know something was about to happen. Now, I remember when Bob Iger, when they said Disney CEO was stepping down, it was immediately. It wasn't okay, he's going to gradually change. No, it was immediately. So we had Bob... I'm just giving you a few as an example. We had Bob Iger, Microsoft, Hulu, IBM, LinkedIn, Uber Eats. We had all these CEOs stepping down for whatever reason. You know, the media pushes certain narratives why they're stepping down. But all these CEOs stepped down before this actual crisis hits. Now, we know our media is controlled by four corporations. And we know right now with Black Lives Matter, a lot of CEOs step down because of that also. But we know that's a narrative. Right now, the narrative is a race war. But we know what's really going on. Right now, there's a class war. Of course, that 1% against everybody else. And they're winning 1,000, 1 million to 1 right now. We have, Matter of fact, we haven't even scored. But when you actually go back and look at all the events that happened before we got to this point, you had Jeff Bezos sold $4.1 billion in shares in 11 days. It was $9.1 billion from the big corporate CEOs like Jeff Bezos, Larry Fink, top, exec top executives selling like crazy. Now, we had Bill Gates, who stepped down from the Microsoft board during this time. We know why, because he was a salesman through all of it. He was a salesman. He goes out there, put on his acting role, his tapping shoes. Because what you have to remember is that the 1% don't get in front of you. They're behind the curtain. They put the agents in front. And, of course, Bill Gates is one. Even though Bill Gates and Warren Buffett... They're in your face, but we know they don't control anything. They're just the agents that move the masses, that the masses can look up to, idolize. That's all they use for. Now, remember also, we had four senators accused of what? Insider trading. And one of our people from Bach, she went to straight into senator. Remember, she didn't even run. She just got the position. And then got caught up in the insider trading and nothing happened, guys. We just heard in the media, media goes, oh, these senators got, and we don't hear anything about anybody getting held accountable when we clearly see they sold. Now, not only did the Fed sell, but then what happened? They went and bought everything and rolled it back up to the top. So we know the Fed owns everything. So we, when we know they collapse, they can pull it. Because they bought everything with what? Fake money off the printing press. Now, what also, guys, you have to remember with the C word is that these corporations, Walmart can be open. Lowe's can be open. Home Depot can be open. All these major fast food corporations can be open, but your mom and pops have to close. All that was was to get the middle class out the way and bring in these wealthy corporations to get more richer. The rich getting rich while the poor is getting poor. Now, what's crazy is that you see during this time, guys, that really, you know, been knocking me for a loop. I don't watch TV a lot. And believe it or not, I'd be on YouTube, but I'm not on YouTube a lot, even though I have a YouTube channel. 
But I'm start I started to see probably about four months ago massive commercials with these politicians asking people for money. When we already know they have the money, they have the Fed, go to the Fed and ask them to give you some of that paper that they printed. They're going to run and ask the people for money. And you have these big corporations. We know these lobbyists. That's how these politicians get in their place. These big corporations hand them money. So the fact is, instead of them going to the corporations that made all this money doing the C word, they still go back to the slaves and ask them for money. Can you please give a dollar to five dollars? I mean, this is out of this world. Now, the fact is that we know that all of these small businesses are basically closed and these corporations went and ran and got money from the government, asked them for billions. So guys, it's out of this world. It's definitely amazing, but it definitely makes you think. Only thing you have to do is go back to the beginning. You start seeing the wheels turning and all of these situations map up and connect the dots. Now, guys, we know what's next. We know universal basic income is next. So what wheels do they have turning right now, guys? We know that we've had plenty of, in crypto, we know we had plenty of House of Representatives senators move these bills in, move them on, while the masses don't even know. Of course, we're in crypto. We get to see the wheels moving. But the fact is, guys, the masses don't understand it. So right now, of course, we have the bills. We have the digital wallets already set up. So the fact is that basically once we get another crisis, and we know that once this money run out in March, we get a stimulus bill passed for November. That's going to take us to March. We know they're already set up and ready to go. But they have to have an event. What did the new world order believe in? Cause a problem, wait for the reaction, come in with the solution. But we know that universal basic income is total control. And then what's going to happen? That's when I say hyper deflation. A lot of people say, oh, it's inflation. No, we're going to run into hyper deflation. Why? Because we're going to have the robots, AI, automation. The reason why we never could have deflation because you had what? The human element in there. Now the human element is going to be taken out. But y'all have a wonderful day.